Okay, today I'm going to show you how to maintain a 1302 cathode oxygen electrode. Um, you can see here that this electrode output is about 742 picoamps, which is slightly high for a cathode in air. So I'm going to take off the membrane here and just put it to one side for the moment. Um, you can see, I'll just dry off the membrane. Now, a good membrane once it's clean and dry, sorry, a good electrode once it's clean and dry with the membrane off should read around about zero. And you can see here that this one is bouncing a little bit between zero and two. That's actually very good. I'll be more than happy with that because it can pick up um, current from the air and bits and pieces. Um, but in order to clean it, um, you hold the electrode vertically. You um, give it a good clean with the abrasive membrane supplied by us. If you keep it in the vertical position, um, you can actually apply a reasonable amount of force while you're um, cleaning the tip. And this is where the microcathode comes through and contacts with the membrane. Um, it's important though to let the abrasive paper do the majority of the work because if you um, get sideways force onto the glass tip and snap it, then the electrode is broken. It's also important as we go through and completing the cleaning to clean just this tip here, this side of the glass tip. Um, you may be able to see that I'm very gently rotating the glass tip around the paper um, as I go along. Again you can use a little bit of force here but much less than when the um, glass tip is in the vertical position. Again if you break the glass the electrode is not recoverable and that can be quite an expensive mistake to make. So again, let the abrasive paper do the vast majority of the work um, and just bring the membrane tip back to the vertical and give it a final clean off, trying to pick up some fresh abrasive medium. Okay, next step which is very important then is to wash off the membrane which we do with some deionized water. Um, again, do not get the, the water on the top of the electrode, just run in this area here, that's just to wash and clean away any debris that we've taken off the, the cathode here. Um, if the electrode has been in an aggressive medium, um, lots of proteins or fat, something like that, you can actually use some acetone to give it a, a wipe or a similar acid. In that case, I would actually put the acetone onto the tissue paper and just um, gently clean the electrode, go back to the abrasive paper and then clean it again. But once the electrode um, then has been cleaned um, we should be able to see it going back to essentially zero on the picoamp outputs okay the next thing to do then is to um, fill our membrane with electrolyte so this is a, a polypropylene membrane here which comes with the, the membrane pre-placed on it you can see here on the side of the plastic holder there's a square machined into the side of the body I normally fill the electrolyte so that the bottom of the meniscus is just about halfway up along this square here. Some people prefer to fill it a little bit higher, um, but I find it gives me better operation stability with the electrode if it's just in about the middle point here. You can just drop the electrolyte in, um, one drop at a time. I find it far easier to use one of these droppers. Um, just put it into the membrane here, just near the bottom, and just fill up. I always fill it slightly higher um, than I want it to be in the final solution. Um, the reason for that is you quite often trap an air bubble in the membrane as you're filling it up. You can get rid of these air bubbles by just um, flicking quite hard against the side of the glass here um, and down towards the, the bottom. Do not obviously um, catch the polypropylene membrane which is right here on the bottom. Um, because you can damage it um, and try not to touch this as well because you can get some oils and greases from your finger onto the system. Another trick which works quite well is to gently place the electrode tip in and out of the solution to try and see if there's any air bubbles that can be removed from the system. You can see now that um, this membrane is probably filled into just about the right place here, possibly slightly high. If it is slightly high, just curl up some tissue paper and pop it in and, and allow the excess electrolyte to soak away. In this particular case, I'm, I'm really quite happy with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the membrane tip back on. Again, nice and slowly, just screw it into place. 
um, you don't need to do any more than finger tight here certainly don't leave it loose and then quite importantly just dry the outside of the tip here because we don't want um, any water on the electrode or on its outside membrane um, and this membrane now will be reading out quite a high picoamp breeding you can see it's um, around about 15 1600 on our screen here um, that is obviously dropping quite quickly um, and we would expect it to drop at this sort of a rate down to around about the 600 level um, then the next step obviously will be to um, calibrate this electrode for zero in uh, a sodium sulfite solution um, the electrodes can take a fair amount of time to settle down fully once they've been maintained so if at all possible if you believe that your electrode needs this maintenance I would suggest you do it um, prior to going home for the evening and then leave it settle down overnight with the power plugged in you can see that this one is um, dropping down quite nicely towards the target level okay thank you